So for thousands of our students across North Texas, Spanish is no longer a foreign language. It's their primary language in many cases, and they're being taught in dual language classes. Our Steve Pickett taking a close look today at how prevalent bilingual education is right now in our local classrooms. Vamos a caminar por nuestro salón. Jose Armendariz can count the numbers. Four sides and four vertices. 22 of the 30 classrooms inside Northwest Dallas's Pershing Elementary School serve the same population of children found in his. Students who receive daily instruction in Spanish and English. We have more people from Honduras and Salvador, and I have had students from uh, Colombia also. Almost half of Dallas ISD's entire student population, that's 49%, are bilingual or limited English speakers. ¿Y si yo te digo que voy a buscar la idea principal? In Mesquite, this school year alone has a 5.5% increase among grade school age students defined as English language learners. Well, as you can see, more and more students, the percentages are increasing, so uh, the need of bilingual teachers has also tremendously increased. Public schools under state rules regarding bilingual education must keep pace. And the pace right now? As far as demand goes, it's been pretty consistent. Dallas ISD's dual language director says bilingual educator demand remains high because the use of dual language in the classroom is an expectation and not an exception today. It's the by far most successful model for allowing those students to achieve academically and then also acquire the English skills that they need to be successful. Their real goal is for them to perform in a regular ed classroom at the same level that the other students perform. Pedacitos importantes, ¿qué significa para mí? 12,000 Mesquite school kids are in classrooms just like this one. They anticipate more and plan to recruit more bilingual educators for them. Vamos a hacer una predicción. Steve Pickett. CBS 11 News.